Good evening, Peter Gertz, I'm a psychiatrist. The wonderful thing about psychiatry is that we see such a variety of patients, and to me it's a privilege to meet so many different people from different walks of life. Now that can include people, patients, who can bring up negative feelings in psychiatrists. And it can be a cycle, so a patient may have negative feelings toward you, and then you may, due to that, because the way the because of the way the patient acts, start having negative feelings towards the patient, and that can be a cycle. Then, or it can start with you. If you have negative feelings toward the patient, the patient may begin having negative feelings toward you. So that's one thing I think for us to try and be aware of, and if. The patient, for example, has negative feelings toward you that can have consequences like being rude to you, for instance, as a psychiatrist, and that may require boundaries. So in, a, in an extreme situation, you may need to call security if they're getting physically aggressive, or you may even have to terminate them from the clinic. They may have to seek care in another clinic. You can be exposed or you can have the privilege of seeing patients from a huge variety of walks of life. And that will include, most likely you can encounter some people who've been criminals, maybe a hitman, and people who are using their social security check to buy drugs, people who've abused children sexually, physically. So all these are things that can potentially at least, engender strong negative feelings in a psychiatrist or maybe anyone who's listening to that or meeting that person. And people can be manipulative. That can also lead to difficult feelings in a psychiatrist. I remember during my residency, another resident did not admit a patient in an emergency room and the patient had wanted to be admitted and the patient made a suicide attempt right on the premises of the hospital. So it's not necessarily black or white. The patient could have killed himself, but also it seems like maybe at least there was an aspect of manipulation in that he tried to kill himself right on the premises of the hospital. A patient of mine when I was a resident Everything was going fine. It was in the emergency room and we we're having a nice talk and everything went fine until I mentioned the word shelter because I did not think that gentleman needed to be admitted to the hospital. And the patient, as soon as he heard that word, he got up, took his bottle of medicine out, swallowed the whole thing and ended up in the ICU. So again, it's not black or white. He could have killed himself. He did not. He ended up in the ICU and surviving, but there may well have been an, an aspect of manipulation in the fact that he overdosed right in the emergency room in front of me before I could get security. People may express political beliefs that you strongly disagree with. They may express racist beliefs or describe even pretty extreme racist experiences to you that may be very hard for you to listen to. And analogously, the patients may be sexist and describe actions that sound very concerning to you, either in the past or even currently. Patients may, if we look at it the other way around, may start having negative feelings toward you. Let's say if they don't like tattoos or are prejudiced against people who have tattoos or piercings, or if they think you're transgender or gay, patients may start having negative feelings, or it could be the other way around, of course, also psychiatrists in that type of scenario, if it was, if it was the other way around, might start having negative feelings. Another issue that potentially can engender negative feelings is, let's say you're asked to see a patient and the patient does not speak English. 
and then you read the chart and the patient's been in this country for 20 years or more, and it's possible then for a psychiatrist to become frustrated if they let that train of thought continue, namely, this patient's been here for 20 years, why can't they learn English? So that type of thinking can occur and the psychiatrist might become frustrated and think, oh, I now have to use a lot more time than I would if the patient spoke English, I have to get a translator. In all these scenarios, it seems important to me, as always, to try and be aware of our own feelings and that way the feelings won't have a life of their own in the sense that they lead to actions that we really don't, that are not productive and not constructive. And just like in the talk or in the video I made last week, which was about sexual attraction between patients and psychiatrists, we want to, like I said, look at our feelings, be aware of our feelings, and get a sense for ourselves if those feelings only affect treatment, which they probably will, any type of feeling can affect treatment, or if the feelings are so strong that they would interfere with treatment and we're unable to treat that particular patient. And that the scenario with patients who bring up negative feelings in psychiatrists may require that a psychiatrist seek supervision from another psychiatrist, talk with another psychiatrist, and get a sense of whether they're able to constructively treat that patient or if the negative feelings are just too strong. Thank you very much.